Today I'm going to take a look at my Apprentice S2 with floats. So I purchased this Super Cub float set from Hobbyzone and it does work with the Apprentice. Uh, and here I have the floats mounted so they are kind of uncomplicated to, to install really. Uh, they are very similar to many other floats how you put them together. Uh, and I didn't even bother to remove the nose wheel, so it does look a little bit wonky, but it takes just too many screws to do it. So I mean, it will be interesting to get this one flying with floats, because I know that this is not a powerful RSL plane. It does, in my opinion, struggle a little bit with aerobatics um, in stock configuration. So let's head outside to the, to the highs and do a winter flight with floats on the Apprentice S2. It's a rather lovely day, wind today, uh, frozen lake, slight breeze, light snowfall, and the sun is uh, almost breaking through the clouds. So let's get this one going then on floats. I know the Apprentice S2 is not a powerful RS airplane without floats, so with the added weight of the floats I suspect this one to be a little bit sluggish. I cannot complain too much because this is a beginner RC airplane. And in my experience it's really easy to fly this one. I think if you it does feature safe technology. But I do think that you will be pretty soon out of safe, even if you're a beginner, because it's really easy to fly. So just as long as you learn how to orientate when the when the plane, you know, fly towards you or away from you, uh, I think you will be out of safe really soon. But this is not a powerful RSL plane. I could compare this one when it comes to power to the Aeros Cessna, the 1.1 meter uh, Aeros 182 Cessna. Uh, it's not a powerful RSL plane and the Aeros is a two cell, this is a three cell and I think this one is a little bit more agile than the, um, the Aeros Cessna but not by much. But this is a much better trainer because the landing gears are better constructed. It's a it's a simpler RS airplane. Of course, it's not a scale-looking RS airplane uh, like like some of the other you know like Cessna-like RS airplanes. But um, it's a really good quality, uncomplicated, durable RS airplane. And simple things like stall turns uh, is no problem, of course, but uh, when it comes to aerobatics... And so it's really a painful, slow roll, so the, the floats do in influence the, um, the flight performance on, on this apprentice uh, in a noticeable way. I have a skier I am just flying to avoid, making like a holding pattern at this part of the ice. But it's a, it's a nice looking RC airplane with floats, as many other RC airplanes, when you do get floats on them, they do look really nice. And even if you do some, some mistakes with this one, it's quite easy to, to save it, because I mean the, the stall tendency doesn't really have any tendency to stall. Uh, it's just a good constructed RC airplane. But on the other hand, also it's not a, a powerhouse and, and uh, aerobatic cars airplane uh, which to me at least when after a, a few minutes of flight I find quite boring when I 
can't just um, go goofing around and do you know kind of stupid things with my RC airplanes. So um, I would certainly compare this one to the Arrows uh, Cessna 182 1.1 meter. Uh, she have very similar flight behavior. And thanks to the stripes under the wing, I think this one is really easy to tell orientation. So, in my opinion, almost all RS airplanes benefit uh, when you have stripes underneath the wings, and especially when you have white wings and you have like a gray whitish sky like this one it's easy to, to lose orientation but with this one it's not a problem so I mean I'm not doing uh, you know really any aerobatics with this one uh, because uh, had just a tri trial flight before this flight and I discovered that uh, I mean it was just a struggle to to get the aerobatics to work the way I want them to work so it's just a you know a docile like figure eight flight and I know that uh, with this RC plane if you want to do aerobatics you have to let the plane gain the speed first so I mean it's not a, a slow really super slow RS airplane but you really need to push the RS airplane and have more power to be able to do especially rolls I think this one is really really lacking in the when it comes to rolls so um, I mean uh, just to compare this one uh, for for many of the other like 1.2 meter uh, wingspan RS airplanes I think they are, most of them are much more agile. I mean, uh, one of the obvious choices would of course be the Ranger 1.2 meter and the Ranger is just super fun, agile um, and, uh, you know, a really great RC airplane. But this one is, uh, you know, it's lacking so it's time to get this one down. It's fairly easy to get this one down, especially you know, on uh, <laughs> uh, so much space on the lake. So I mean, I uh, uh, just wanted to show something with this uh, RCL plane and, and floats. Um, so I mean, don't expect too much, but it looks nice when you fly it at least. So um, that's it. Now this is a a nicely flying RCL plane, but in my opinion. It is underpowered and especially um, as I discovered with floats um, in, the, in the style I fly the, the RC airplanes uh, I want to have an RC airplane that I can push through slower aerobatics. If I do a move and I need a little bit more power can, I can just push through a roll or loop or whatever uh, and, and the plane responds and, and this Apprentice S2 is just too weak. It's a great beginner RC airplane in that it's really uncomplicated and I think you have these rubber bands and so I mean if you hit the wing I suppose the uh, the rubber band will flex uh, and it's a really lightweight RC airplane so I mean a good option for a beginner to learn how to fly uh, but when you step up I, I honestly think that um, you will need something more powerful and I can comp compare this one to the FMS uh, Super Easy, for instance, uh, that I also uh, made a flight with floats, and the Super Easy is so much more powerful and fun to fly. Uh, um, of course, it's a, it's a tiny bit more difficult, but uh, in honest opinion, I would pick the Super Easy over this one. Um, I mean, I, I like the Apprentice, but with, with floats, it just you know, it's too much. Um, to ask from the power system, in my opinion, and I haven't tried this on on, on water, but uh, this floats doesn't um, uh, feature any rudder, so turning on water can be also problematic. But I mean, it's it's a great RC airplane, just not too powerful, and uh, in honest opinion, 
if you want to do more aerobatics, it's not the, the plane for you. But the, uh, I just wanted to show this this flight with the, with the floats also. So that's my opinion uh, at, about this Apprentice S2 with floats.